Hi, I'm Justin Clover with Terraria Fitness. So today we're doing dynamic warm-ups. We're gonna do two different types. One's gonna be for our entry level, kind of novice level, people with limited range of motion. Next one's gonna be a lot more advanced level. Uh, intermediates in between can play around with a few of these. A lot of them are gonna be a lot harder. Requires a lot of balance on the intermediate. So typically with these, what we'll do is a about 10. So give yourself a nice little distance. The first ones are gonna be lunging. So what these are, they're stretching while moving. That's where we get the dynamic side of it. This is gonna be a hip flexor quad stretch. The back leg is staying straight. And with these, we're not holding any of them. I'm just going to full range of motion, wherever that is, and then I'm coming right out of it and getting into the next one. It'll be like 10 to 20 of these. The next thing after our hip flexors is going to be our hamstrings. Hamstrings, I like going backwards. If you're worried about going backwards, you can go forwards, but same thing. It's leaning, stretching the hamstring. I like to push my hips backwards instead of just coming forward over toe. So I'm pushing the hips backwards and then I'll stand all the way up and take another step. Uh, a lot of my clients wanna sit here and do this, which I don't like. I'd rather come all the way up. So stand, stretch, come up to the next one. Standing, stretching, come up, do the next one. After those, we're going to the leg swings. Leg swings are kind of a staple for me. These really help open up our hips. So a lot of hip rotation, hip mobility, as well as ankle rotation, ankle mobility. So I'm just holding onto something in front of me and I'm swinging my legs. You can do this up against a wall as well. I'm not rotating or twisting my upper body. It's literally just my hips. So I'm going to <clears throat> point the toe the direction across while this foot stays nice and straight on the bottom. And then I'm gonna also open up and point my toe. So it'll look just like this, really make sure we don't kick anything. So I'll do 10 to 15 of those on each side. After I do the leg swings, I'm gonna do V stance, T spine rotation. So I'm putting myself in kind of this big split. I wanna have my heels flat on the ground. So really my whole foot is gonna be flat on the ground. I'm putting my hands here. If you can't get here, use a riser, use a box, pillow, wherever you're doing this shoe box, something to just get you a little higher up. This is what I have to do with a lot of clients. So if you can't do this, use a box. But what we're trying to do is open and I want to look at my hand the way I'm rotating. I want to follow with my head. What I don't want to do as I go, I don't want to just kind of open and leave it here. It's I want to actually follow my hand with my head. And I like alternating. You can do just one side, but I definitely prefer alternating. After those, we're gonna stay in that same position and we're gonna walk in and out. Again, keeping my feet nice and flat on the ground. I'm walking out as far as I can, and then I'm gonna come back as well and reach under. For clients with limited range of motion, what we'll do, we'll just walk out kind of a little bit. We'll just, I'll just have them reach kind of as far as I can out, and I'll have them reach as far as I can backwards as well. But getting a little further, just try and walk wherever you can go, right into those heels start coming up and then trying to walk backwards and actually use my fingers to grab the ground to pull myself further back. I'm gonna lay on my side. I call this fetal position laying on the side. We're gonna do openers. We're gonna do 10 of these opening and then we're gonna do rotation. With rotation, I'm going back as far as I can and then rotating. I don't want to rotate my back. It's keeping, it's a shoulder mobility, not a lumbar spine or a thoracic mobility. So just rotating the same thing with these when we open. It's just shoulder. I'm not rotating back as far as I can. And then the last one we're gonna do is just gonna be traditional cat-cow, spinal flexion extension, moving back and forth about 10 times. And that's gonna be kind of our beginner little dynamic warm-ups. Go through those before you do your workout and be a really good start. All right, so next on dynamic warm-ups for my more advanced getting into my athletes. We're kind of doing the same principles of dynamics from the beginner level, but we're starting to put them together. These are gonna be a lot more balanced. So for instance, and we, again, we'd be doing this over the course of this whole length this way when my clients come in. This is just for video purposes to really short and turn, but work with the space you have. So the first thing is gonna be a lunge stretch like we did before into a hamstring, and then we're just stepping into the next one, lunge into a hamstring, back and forth. You can do this one in place, which I do sometimes, but it would be this for 10, and then we would have to switch legs into the other side because you're doing the same hip flexor, same hamstring stretch over and over and over. The next one, kind of like with hamstrings, I like going backwards, but we're gonna do a knee hug into SLDL, which is single leg deadlift, and then we're just stepping. So it's a knee hug, SLDL. <clears throat> 
now I think you can see how some of these, why they're so much more advanced, require a lot more balance, but it's a great movement prep just to get everything ready and get going. After those, we're still gonna stick with our staple of leg swings. I really like doing leg swings. Uh, we can just really start opening these hips up a ton as we kick back and forth. So same thing I said in the entry level, make sure we're pointing the toe one way and pointing the toe the other way. So on the next one, these are called spider lunges and I just, we're just making up names now. Spider lunges in the T-spine rotation. Um, this is where athletic ability and if you're limited in flexibility, it's really gonna show. So we're gonna start taking this really deep lunge. I like, so already pushing my knee out, grabbing here, and then I'm opening and following my hand with my head. So again, I'd be taking this big lunge here. I'm reaching inside my ankle and then I'm catching my balance, opening. And I would just do these walking in these big lunges. So grabbing the ankle, losing balance, <laughs> grabbing the ankle here and opening and walking. And those would be kind of like Spider-Man lunges with T-spine rotation. That would be a big one. The next one I'm going to is this like really, really deep squat knee push out. So I like to turn my feet out for these and only for these. So feet are turned out. I'm coming inside. I just kind of like brace my own hands together here and I'm pushing my knees. If you have a problem with doing these Spider-Man rotations, you can try to do these first and see if this helps you with kind of balance and stability. So I'll do this about 10 times. I'll use the other elbow, do this 10 more times, and then I'll just do both 10 times. This really kind of helps open everything up and get right into the next exercise. All right, the next one is gonna be lateral squat or tie squats, uh, tie sits. I have a background in Muay Thai, so these are some of my favorite ones. A lot of clients have issues with these. It's really hard for them to get in this position without the heel lifting up. So a entry level is just coming back and forth, like that's cool. But we wanna get into this nice deep like tie sit. And the key is to keep your hands in front of you and keep this heel on the ground. And we're gonna go back and forth and try and be able to sit where we are. So just moving back and forth lateral, tie sits. If you can't get this far, this is what I'll see a lot of clients do is they'll come way forward to kind of make it easier. And you'll see this heel come up a lot, but we definitely want this down. And we should be able to just kind of sit back and forth. Definitely a lot more challenging range of motion wise. And then the last thing we're gonna do is gonna be an overhead squat, uh, kind of little continuum. So I like to put my feet a little bit wider than normal. I'm not gonna turn them out, but feet definitely a little bit wider. I'm going to reach down first, grab my toes in a hamstring stretch. And then I'm gonna do overhead reach and stand up for there. So hamstring stretch, I'm going to squat. I'm going to lift, lift, keep my head up nice and straight and stand. So from the side, the way it looks, feet are nice and straight. Hamstring stretch, grabbing my toes. I'm squatting with my elbows inside of my knees. I don't wanna do this, this way. Elbows inside of my knee, I try to, Try to remember and do opposite arms and then come up. So we'll do 10 of those as well. That's gonna be definitely our more advanced. You can see a lot more balance, a lot more stability, a lot more range of motion. But those are kind of the advanced dynamic warm ups for some of my athletes, intermediate clients. Uh, definitely something you can do before your workouts and especially on off days. It's really good to keep this hip mobility. That's what we wanna do. Have fun guys, enjoy, comment down below.